multiscale solutions in overexploited aquifer systems. I'm Itza Mendoza Sanchez. I'm an assistant professor at the School of Public Health in Texas A&M University. This is a project with extensive collaboration between different disciplines, different sectors, and between Mexico and USA. Our study is in Guanajuato, Mexico. In this region, irrigation with drill deep wells have been used mainly for agricultural production. And our overall goal is to understand the impacts of overexploiting aquifers and interconnections between the environment, economy, and human health. There's a number of impacts from overexploiting an aquifer in a semi-arid or arid region. Uh, these include falling water tables, which drive up electricity costs for pumping, and this forces people to drill expensive new wells, which can cut into agricultural profits and make it more expensive to live in these areas. It also can cause a deterioration in water quality, which may include um, rising t t total dissolved solids and uh, rising concentrations of geogenic contaminants like arsenic and fluoride. Um, if people consume that arsenic and fluoride as they commonly do in such regions, uh, this will have a, a, a negative impact on human health and development by decreasing childhood IQ and um, rising rates uh, of chronic diseases like cancer, chronic kidney disease, strokes, and heart attacks. Um, all of these will add up to eventually negatively impact wealth in the region. At the household income level, by decreasing human IQ, which decreases lifetime earnings, and also by people having to pay for the mitigation costs to, to, uh, to find better drinking water quality. Um, it will also, deterioration, deteriorating water quality um, will eventually negatively impact the agricultural industry by decreasing their crop yield. Then, to understand the impacts of groundwater pumping on the economics and human health, we develop a dynamic systems model. And this is because we think that the lack of systemic accounting for present and future impacts will delay the full recognition of trade-offs and inequalities from overexploiting an aquifer. This model is complex, so we wanted to start with fundamental knowledge that we have acquired over the past years. And it is a result from hydrogeological modeling efforts and community work addressing the challenge of implementing water solutions for adequate access to safe drinking water supplies. Uh, in this basin that we're studying, um, this, the water table typically varies from, can be as shallow as 20 meters below the surface, but it's typically somewhere between 122 to 200 meters below the surface. This basin that we're studying, which is called the Independence Basin, has has experienced an increase in arsenic concentrations between 20, 1999 and 2016. If we assume a simple model of, of a vertically stratified aquifer chemistry, then it's justified to use an exponential, uh, a, low, a low rate exponential increase in arsenic, so about a 1% increase in arsenic concentration per meter decline in hydraulic head. From the human health perspective, the increasing levels of arsenic and other geogenic chemicals will impact childhood IQ, and minor reductions in IQ will have big impacts on lifetime earnings. Mitigating the impacts will have a cost, from buying bottled water or installing filters, or from organizing the community to build rainwater harvest systems. With this and other data we've collected, and use the dynamic system model to understand the impacts of groundwater pumping and all those interconnections. But that, all that pumping um, results in rising, exponentially rising arsenic concentrations over 100 years, which may reach as high as 70 micrograms per liter for the median, which would decrease the median IQ of people drinking the water down to about 74. Um, and in the worst case scenario, that would greatly slow down the expected lifetime earnings for each year. So in conclusions, falling water tables lead to a host of problems down the road in a region that's exclusively dependent on groundwater. The people impacted uh, negatively by irrigation pumping share little in the profits from that pumping, but get more than their share of the negative effects. Thanks to everyone that contributed to this project.